So we've been talking about turning thoughts to things. The way we always like to begin these rampages is by starting where it's easy for everyone to jump on. Especially today, as a result of what we've been chewing on, the way that it's easy for you to jump on, we'll just start there. So you are extensions of source energy and you're in these physical bodies with great reason and with great relish. You've said, I want to be a part of the physical co-creating in this time and space because there's nothing more delicious than being introduced into a diverse environment that evokes within me lifetimes of desire and so I chose this time and this place this specific time and this specific place because it's the leading edge where there is more diversity than ever before I understood from my non-physical vantage point when I decided to leap in that what most humans think about life getting better on planet Earth, they think that diversity is becoming less and less and less and that agreement and sameness is becoming more and more and more. Where I know from my non-physical perspective that the opposite of that is true. I know that the most leading edge environment is the environment with the most diversity. Do you hear that? Not sameness, but opportunities, choices. So I chose this leading edge time because the leading edge, the further and most outward reaches of creation always contain the most asking, the most opportunities, the most diversity. And I jumped in knowing that it was a plethora of variety and choices. I jumped in eagerly, enthusiastic about what would occur to me, how life would touch me and what it would inspire me to want to know. I understood that at all levels of my being, desire would be stirred up within me. I knew I would be asking for small things and big things and things that felt easy to me and things that felt hard to me. I knew that I would launch rockets of desire, many of them unconsciously, even at a cellular level, and many of them consciously at an awareness of what life has caused me to ask for. But I wanted the launching of those desires because I understood that step one would be the most natural consequence of me being focused in this leading edge. And I wanted those desires to burn bright within me, knowing full well that many of those desires, as they were launched, I wouldn't have an understanding of how to find them. I wanted them to be within me. I wanted that calling and that asking to be within me. And I wanted it to be substantial enough, substantially enough and often enough within me that when I found a way to soften the resistance that I would recognize the relief of it. I wanted the diversity because most of all I wanted to introduce to myself once again in an even more leading edge way, I wanted to understand my guidance system. Because while I'm leaping in to this physical experience, I understand I'm not going to remember the environment from which I leapt. I know that the existence of my inner being still exists, but I'm not going to have recognition of that because I can't be asking the question and receiving the answer at the same time. Sound familiar? And I wanted to be a strong asker for more right from the beginning of my life experience in this physical body. So I jumped in and I explored the data and I launched the rockets and I knew that in doing that that I would reintroduce to myself because I know that the deepest memory that I have of all is the memory of well-being. I knew that was just a little bit of diversion from the pure positive energy from which I came that I would recognize that somehow something was off in that. And I knew that when I knew that something was off I would be asking for something to be right. I knew that I would be asking for the improvement and I knew it would be a natural thing. I knew I didn't need a teacher. I didn't need someone to point it out. I knew that my own life experience, my exposure to the perfection of the diversity in this environment would bring forth from me asking that would take me beyond that which it had ever been before. And further, I knew that I would remember my guidance system because innately we all know that good feels good and something that isn't as good does not feel as good.
I was so eager about reintroducing myself to my guidance system because without conscious awareness of my guidance system I knew that I wouldn't know which end was up I knew that there would be lots of factions and lots of beliefs and lots of people pulling this way and that and I knew that my happiness could only be when I was really true to who I am because I know most of all that I am in answer to someone's question earlier a continuous being I know that I'm an eternal being that I'm looking for more exposure to more life to go beyond that which I've been before and I knew that I would be in an environment where there would be billions of others who are doing the same thing and I knew that it would be life-giving most of all I knew that it would be exciting I knew that it would be delicious I knew that it would be a pleasurable experience so here I am with all of the step one happening naturally and all of the step two happening naturally because I knew the source energy was going to be right there I knew from my vantage point when I decided to come into this body that source energy would remain as source energy and I knew that it would always be my backup my support I knew that it would always be there for me and I also knew that I wouldn't remember that consciously but that I would recognize it when I found it again and I knew that in order to ask the big questions I had to separate myself a little little bit from all of the big answers I knew if I came as someone who had all of the answers I wouldn't be asking any questions so the separation was not something that accidentally happened to me it was something that I really 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 wanted to happen to me I wanted to have exposure to life that would cause me to ask for more because I am an eternal being and I wanted to consciously perpetuate the eternalness of that which I am so jumped in and it all happened naturally the contrast caused me to ask I filled my vortex full of all kinds of things and then I began to become aware of my own guidance system I began to feel what feels good and what doesn't feel good I began to associate this thought with this feeling and this thought with this feeling until the clarity of my desire to really understand not only to understand for myself but to be a teacher of others who also want to understand sort of kicked in and then I began to attract to myself a steady path of unfolding that helped me to know the absolute laws of the universe and how they function and oh what a magnificent moment that was when I began to realize that there is a plan and there is a path and there is a pattern there is something that is understandable and teachable we're not just all thrown here together in a sort of fate or chance fashion that there are laws of the universe that are definable that are knowable and are teachable that I can understand and apply and I am thrilled that I have found my way into this knowing I love thought I love the dynamics of thought I love the response of thought by the law of attraction I love the momentum that focus provides I love the emotional response that focus provides I love knowing what my emotions mean I love knowing what my inner being knows I love being the leading edge vantage point for my inner being I love taking my inner being to places that my inner being has never been before and most of all I love asking the big question and then tuning to the vibrational place that will allow me to receive the big answer in full manifested turning thoughts to things fashion I'm glad to be alive in my physical body and I'm glad to be alive in my non-physical body I'm glad to know the eternal nature of my being and most of all I am so happy that I now understand that it is all for the joy of life that there's nothing that's broken that nothing's gone wrong is for the joy of this life experience that the love of that source energy or God or whatever you want to call it is the real deal that there is pure positive love that I am capable of tapping into or not and that that God who always loves me does not condemn me when I choose not to tap into it that the radiance of that energy doesn't stop just because I've not found my way to it in any moment in time it's always there for me to find my way back to yeah really good really good yeah really good